I wanted to say a little bit about what is this thing called the wave frequency for a traveling wave. We've seen before the formula for a traveling wave or a propagating sinusoidal wave. Propagating is just another word for traveling. It looks like y, the amplitude of disturbance, is a function of x, the coordinate along the x-axis, and time, is equal to a, an amplitude, times sine of the quantity kx minus omega t. The angular frequency omega is related to the frequency f and the period of t of a wave by the expression omega is 2 pi times the frequency or 2 pi over the period. Let's look at what happens at one location. Imagine I'm looking at a water wave and it's a sinusoidal wave traveling to the right and I'm at location x equals 0. What do I see? Well when I plug in x equals 0 I have a sine of 0 minus omega t or sine of minus 2 pi ft. This means that when I will jiggle up and down or bob up and down as the wave goes by. My motion will be up and down like this because the y is taking a sinusoidal turn. And that's what I do. I jiggle up and down. For every crest of the wave, I end up high. For every trough of the wave, I end up low. I will jiggle around with a period. My motion is periodic in the same sense that we talk about with oscillators. And the period of my motion will be 1 over the frequency of the wave. That's how we can interpret what the frequency of a wave is. It's the frequency with which I jiggle up and down, or 1 over that frequency is the period what it takes me to jiggle up and down in the water.